Hello. Uh, hi. Hi, Anand. How hi, are Sandesh. you? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Just so, uh, so, just uh, I will ask you some questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, rate mm -hmm. yourself in JavaScript first. Okay. So, out of ten. Yes. Yes. Uh, out of ten. Six. Yeah. Uh, six. Okay. Uh, fine. So. We will ask you some JavaScript questions again. So, what is hosting? Um, hosting is basically uh like uh, the declaration of uh var list uh okay. not like var function uh class objects and all. It moves to the uh, top of their scope prior to the execution. So basically, it's a uh, uh, like the JavaScript nature, like they speak. Uh, so it's a hoisting because of hoisting it moves all the declaration to the top prior to the prior to the execution of the code okay and what is curing in javascript uh curing okay so curing is basically instead of taking uh all the argument at the same time um the function takes one argument at a time and returns a new function expecting a new argument um so that's the current in javascript okay uh, just let me know what is the difference between let and var yeah so let is the a block scope and the var is the function scope so both are we use for the uh, variable declaration and last uh, and one more question uh, what is the difference between map and for each Okay, so uh, um, both are the um, array methods. So map uh, um, map returns a new array uh, every time, and okay. for each doesn't return anything. So uh, because of map returns a new array, so we can uh, like use another methods chain them. To the map, but uh, for it doesn't return anything, so we cannot tell. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll ask some React questions also. So first of mm -hmm. all, just uh, rate yourself in React first. Okay. So in React, uh, out of ten, five. Yeah, yeah. Out of ten. Yeah. Uh, uh, five, five out of ten, five. Okay, fine. So, just we'll ask you some questions about React first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, how you can handle an error in a React? Okay, in React there is a error boundaries. Okay. Uh, using like error boundaries, we can handle an error in mm -hmm. React. Okay, and what is render prop? A render prop is basically um uh, normally we pass like the array as a value but uh, instead of the normal value we pass uh, prop as a function uh so this is basically the uh, render prop so i have an uh, like the common functionality uh and i want to reuse in multiple uh component okay. so in that case a children component in multiple children children components so in that case i write the function function and in that function i'll like the uh, uh, write the, all the functionality which i want and then i'll pass this function to the props and use it in the uh, children component so that's basically the right okay and what is refs in react uh refs yeah. refs is uh, basically to manipulate the dom or access the dom uh, we have uh, react has an ref so using refs we can access the uh, browser like the dom element and manipulate them okay so tell me state in reactors mm, states are basically um, uh, to store data to manage the data we uh, use the any using states we can manage okay. the data hmm. 
Okay, fine. So tell me something about React portals. Uh, React portals. So React in React, um, there is a um, like in DOM document. Um, there is a, a root node only in DOM, and uh, if we want to add one, like the if we want to um, basically, uh, um, okay. So uh, in uh, in React in uh, in React, there is only one node, uh, like okay. in DOM, uh, I believe a root. So uh, and everything uh, in everything like the every node, uh, um, the every component and everything renders on that node only. Like everything appends in that node and uh, then uh, ex um, and then removes from that node only. So each and everything is there only. But if I want to render something in different node, like the same as okay. a root node, I have created a root hyphen portals or something like that. And I want to render this in that node. So in that case, uh, React portals are useful. So using React portals, I can uh, do this. Okay, fine. Okay, uh, so how you pass the data from one component to another component? Um, um, using props, uh, we can do that. Okay. So, uh, what is the prop drilling? Prop drilling is basically like a, uh, uh, like uh, as I said now, uh, like using props, we can uh, pass data from parent to child. Okay. Same like the form parent to first child, then second child to third child, third child to fourth child. I want to like have data in that way. So that's called the prop drilling. Like instead of the first child, if I want to pass this data to the uh, any fourth child or fifth child, so. In that case, I have like uh, I have to buy uh, any go through the all the component until I'll reach the final the my destination. So that's the prop trading basically. Okay, fine. Okay, so if I want to fetch data from an API and print it on page, then what are the steps mm. are there? Okay, you got my question. So. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So you want me? Okay. You you say um a, a page data from an yeah. API and then print it. Okay. Print on. Yeah. Okay. On a page. Okay. So in that case, uh, in React, I'm talking about the like the normal functional component. Then we need a two hook, two hooks. Uh, basically, so the first is a use state and the second one is a use effect. And uh, like the, we can use page also to fetch okay. uh, the API, but uh, uh, we can use axios for fetching. And uh, in uh, using axios, um, and then first, okay. So I'll first um, uh, import use state and use effect. And in use state, I'll mention like the data and the set data as a, a method. And uh, then um, in uh, use effect, I'll do my the fetching functionality, like the retrieving data, the API functionality, basically the uh, retrieving a data from the API. Like I'll use, uh, assign the axios and the endpoint, like whatever the endpoint is given, the API URL. And after okay. API returns the data, I'll uh, use the set data method, which I initialize in a use state and set data. Uh, and then uh, after the setting is completed in like the set data, like uh, in a use effect, uh, then uh, I'll uh, to print this data. Um, I'll, um, uh, I'll use a map and in map, like uh, using map, we can print this data on a, a page okay. like uh, yeah 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 uh, so yeah, i'll say it uh, 
yeah i'll set up uh, like the is uh, like the error also like of the if it is there it returns a error okay. and it shows an error and loading also like when the loading is like the when when the api any until api is uh, returns a data it's just so showing that loading state so it okay, doesn't fine. like the yes yes so uh, how you manage the performance in react Mm -hmm. To manage the performance, like uh, uh, um, <laughs> many ways, like uh, uh, to right. stop re-rendering or like the uh, uh, we we can use the use memo, use callback, and uh, uh, we can use a pure component also. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference between username and user callback? Okay, use name and uh, okay, a use yeah. memo and uh, use callback. Yeah, use memo and uh, use callback. Oh, okay. So use memo and use callback. So use memo is basically um like uh, uh use memo uh, is cache basically cache any caching of value and uh. So working when I want to any anyway, work with the value like the in that case I'll use a uh, uh, use memo and use callback is basically works with the functions so uh, yeah that's a difference okay uh, what is the pure component in React okay so pure component is uh, is basically uh, like uh, pure component doesn't uh, like the if the uh if the like the uh parameters like the props what we are passing to them is same like the, the basically doesn't any uh, uh 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 the same component like the uh, basically uh 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 it doesn't return um we can what we can say uh basically just a second sir okay okay fine <clears throat> yeah so um like uh what we can say uh, in react uh pure components works with the class component basically we can like when we are working on a class component uh, in that case we uh, import pure component uh from the like, uh, react and we use uh, and the pure components um are uh returns the same result each and every time doesn't return okay. any different result so yeah uh okay fine so let's start with the redux also Hi, mm -hmm. okay yes. yeah so tell me something about redux okay so a uh, redux is basically we use the redux to uh maintain a state okay in, in react so yeah and redux uh, stores uh, like the, all the states in a in it's any store uh, it's just like the in one place yeah and from then there only uh, we can any it's basically uh, to manage a state and the like the data and pass data from uh, to uh, yeah okay to and... avoid yeah to yeah, avoid yeah. the prop drilling, we use uh, like we can we use other Redux basically. You can say or okay. This is also the yeah. So one more question: uh, What is the difference between use select and the use dispatch? Okay, use selector and use dispatch is basically uh or like the these are the Redux uh, hooks basically. Use selector is basically to select uh, uh, the state, uh, select the any state, and use dispatch. We use to dispatch an action, like if I want to change and uh, pass an action. So in that case, we use use dispatch. In yeah. Okay. So yeah, okay. done. Hello. Uh, yes. Yes. Sir, yeah. Yes. 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 So everything is good. So you want to ask something? Um, 
ओके सो फर्दर प्रोसीजर वी विल मेल यू आनंद ओके 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 या ओके थैंक्स सर या वेलकम बाय बाय